Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, Facebook. Coming to you with another vlog today, which is, uh, I would say, half of a rant and half of a vlog. Uh, you'll see why here as we get into it. But a little bit on the, the last couple of days. I had to take a couple of days off work because um, we had an appointment in Colorado. <laughs> We're here in Albuquerque, you know, so Colorado's a six hour drive up there to uh, Denver. It's actually Aurora, but you know, it's like right beside Denver. And uh, we had to go get one of our procedures done, one of our baby's procedures done. And um, so we went up there and we had already had a little bit of uh, trepidation about the trip just because all of her medical uh, equipment, her ventilator and you know whatnot is, is battery powerable so you can portable it. But the thing about batteries is they run out, so we were worried that they'd run out. <laughs> but going up there, no problem. We went up there, I would say we got there and about one o'clock in the morning, we went out to eat at Denny's, or IHOP, no it's IHOP, yeah that's right. We didn't like IHOP here in uh, Albuquerque, so we tried the one in Colorado. Turns out we just don't like IHOP. And uh, well, we went out there and her ventilator starts beeping. Both batteries depleted. <laughs> so we have to get to the Ronald McDonald house in a big old hurry. But we made it, I mean, you know, I had to drive way faster than I should have and even ran a red light. Sorry. But nobody was around, so I was like, I need to go. <laughs> but we got there and, uh, you know, catastrophe averted. So no big deal. We settled in, went to bed for the night, got her ventilator all charged up for the next day went on this big old appointment and uh, the short version is basically just put little balloons in her na nasal cavity and go all the way back down because her upper respiratory is pretty closed off and they puff it open a little bit. Went well. Took forever but it went well and then uh, you know we're, we're leaving about five. And we're getting to the rant part now. <laughs> so I'm coming back and I'm with her you know after during rush hour in Denver, and uh, we're almost home. You know, it's been a long drive. We had to stop and charge once, and you know, we're on the road again. And we think for sure we're going to make it home. No big deal. We're in Santa Fe, which is only about what, 50 miles away from Albuquerque. Her fudge popping battery starts beeping. I'm going to try really hard not to curse in this next part because it makes me so mad. And she's rocking her a little rocky right there. But So we're like, oh, fudge pops. We need to do something. We can do it now. So it's like, okay, cool. I'll pull off into Santa Fe. We're a little lucky. We're right by town. We'll go find like a Walmart or something. We'll charge up. We'll get one of those little um, you know, cigarette lighter adapters that you can actually then plug something into. I was like, we'll just get one of those. No big deal. So I happen to know there's a Walmart on Surreal's Road. And I'm like, okay, cool. Construction everywhere. I missed the exit completely. <laughs> it was just like, there it was. Oh, snap, now what do we do? So bear in mind, if her ventilator dies, we have to basically perform a form of CPR on her where we have her little ambu bag and we do this to the bag to give her breaths. I mean, it's, it's that serious of a situation. So now I'm nearly panicking, and I get off the next exit, it's the relief route to Santa Fe. I go the wrong way, <laughs> the gas station's over here, I went over there. And then I had to drive almost two miles just to turn around, because I had one of those no cross median kind of divider things. And get back, finally find a gas station, I'm like, oh thank god. I run in, I'm like, hey, um, do you have somewhere I could plug in? I, my baby's ventilator needs to be charged. And the dude tells me, no. What kind of fudged up human being do you have to be to have someone tell you that someone, even not even a baby, just somebody's ventilator is dying and go, no. We don't have anything like that. So I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. I need to figure this out. So I'm like, hey, do you have a, a charger that plugs into uh, you know, an outlet? No. So... I walk outside, I'm, I'm furious, and I'm also panicking, because I'm like, you know what, I don't have time to be mad at this guy, I need to save my baby. 
So, luckily, Carrie's already making a beeline for the wall. Apparently, there's an outlet out there. Bear in mind, last night was not warm here. It was like, I think it was 39 degrees at the coldest. It was probably around 40 when we were out there. So we're out there in the freezing cold, bundling poor, poor little rain up, and just plugged into this random wall outlet. And then the dude sticks the security guard on us. Yeah, thankfully, security guard had a head on his shoulders. He saw what was going on, he was like, okay, yeah, no, that's not cool that he told you no, let me go talk to him. And he goes in there and talks to him, and then he's like, yeah, come on, bring the baby in. So we finally got out of the cold. I'm like, thank God. And I'm still, like, livid with this dude, just, you could see it on my face. I was just like, don't, just just be grateful. I'm, I'm sitting there trying to, you know, practice my attitude of gratitude. I'm like, just be grateful. We're inside, she's plugged in, she's safe, we're okay. We may have to stay here for a couple hours, but we're okay. And uh, so we, we charge her up, we're starting to charge her up and we're looking for Walmarts and I find a Walmart that has a car charger. Uh, I tell the babe, hey, chill here, you've got a security guard here. I'm gonna go get this thing and uh, come back and then we can be on our way and get out of this dude's store. Oh, I do not want to be there. Like, at all. But, you know, it's just like, okay, we do what we gotta do. So I go to Walmart, I find this thing, $30. Oh my God. <laughs> so I get this thing, then I find my way back to them, because I didn't even know where I left them. Like, the gas station, I didn't know what the address was. Luckily, babe did text me the address. I Google Maps my way back to it. We got her set up, and then this guy has the gall to apologize, saying he didn't understand. I'm sitting there going to, thinking to myself, well, what else could a ventilator be? Maybe I'm, I'm being the bad guy here, but what else could you mistake a ventilator for? And I, I can't think of anything. Um, so I, I wanted to tell him so bad, oh, you're sorry for endangering my daughter's life. But, you know, I, I chilled. I was like practice your chill. I was like, it's cool. It's cool. We're going to be on our way now. And we took off, you know, we got home safe after that and everything was happily ever after, but it was just like, I was so upset that people could be so callous to people. And I mean that in a generalized sense too, because I mean, I know that's not an isolated incident, you know, people are mean to people every day in very cruel ways. Oh, oh, wait, 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 my story wasn't done yet. Welcome back to the ghetto is, is the next part of the story. So, you know, I know you guys can't see where I'm pointing, but outside this window is, just, you know, our street. Across the street's more apartments. So we get back, we're unloading, and I hear them fighting over there, which is not uncommon at all. <laughs> That's, you know, like I said, this is, this is pretty much the ghetto. They're over there, I hear them yelling and hollering about whatever. And I know how this place goes. There's been gunshots all over the place here. So I tell babe, hey, can we get her up there in a big hurry? About 30 seconds later, I hear some dude yell something and pop! I'm like, and that's why. Luckily, no one on this side, you know, these complexes was hurt. I don't know what, and no ambulance just showed over there, so I don't assume anyone over there was hurt. If they were, they didn't call the cops, which doesn't surprise me again. And we finally got up. Once we got calmed down, then everything was happily ever after. <laughs> but oh my gosh, I hate this place so bad. I seriously want to out of here, but <laughs> never gonna happen. Anyways, that was last night's adventures. Other than that, sorry for missing last week's vlog. Um, I actually did record one. And I tried to upload it, but apparently the transcoding killed the video. I don't know what happened. It just said that I was unable to read file after I transcoded it. So I was like, all right, cool. Next week. So here I am. Last week, I haven't been doing much of anything. I really just doing really good at work. I started a new project to help some of our, uh, our peeps out. Um, can't talk too much about work internal stuff, but you know, we've got a new way of, you know, saying hi to people and a 
new way of dealing with how we interact with customers, and I, I'm, I'm pretty good at it. I, I would say. I mean, I don't want to brag because I think bragging is is bad form, but I'm, I'm okay at it, you know. And I can help people out, so they've they've called upon me to help some of our our fellow workers, you know, who aren't really embracing the change too well. And uh, I'm enjoying that a lot. I love helping people in general. That's why I got into customer service in the first place. But I really enjoy helping my peers because, you know, if we can help each other, we can become the best easily. We're already in the top 10. Like, as far as the teams go, and at my job, there's over 30 teams. We're in the top 10, which is awesome. Hopefully, we can get the top five again. That's where we ended up last, last month. We were top four. We were a fourth-ranked team in the site, which put us at 19th in the nation to us. But um, that's been pretty fun. I've been enjoying it. I love getting to help people. Playing a lot of video games, you know me. Uh, still on the World of Warcraft kick, probably for a couple more months, easily. I, I'm that kind of a gamer. If it's a game that doesn't have like a defined beginning and a defined end, I could play it for a long time. So what happened with Skyrim? Oh my god. If any of you played uh, The Elder Scrolls Skyrim, uh, Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, you know what I'm talking about. There's just limitless stuff you can do. It might as well have been an MMO. I don't know what they messed with. They messed up the Skyrim MMO so effing bad. It was not even funny. I don't know what they were thinking of, but they, they screwed the pooch on that one seriously. If they would have just taken Skyrim and allowed multiple people to play it and put in more quests, they would have had a winning formula on their hands easily. <laughs> But they didn't, so. Yeah, we're, you know, thinking about, you know, World of Warcraft and why it's been popular for so long. And it's just, to be honest, it was the the archetype that all others follow, in my opinion. So it's what we're comfortable with. It's not that the other RPGs aren't good. You know, my buddy Tiny, he plays uh, Rift and Ion and various other ones, too. And he says they're great. And I'm, I tried them. Absolutely, we'll say I tried them. They were not for me. Um, too ingrained in the WoW universe, I guess. I mean, I've tried all the all the WoW killers. You know, I'll give them a shot. Because who doesn't want to play the next big thing, you know? I tried Wildstar when it came out. Very cool concept. Not really for me. Um, Rift, Ion, you know, all those. Cool, cool things, but none of them have that, that epic feel that World of Warcraft does. Now the world, the Warcraft, not World of Warcraft. Now the Warcraft movie is coming out. Very pumped to see how that turns out. I'm hoping it enjoys all the success in the world because I would love to see a sequel in the World of Warcraft universe. I really would. You know, if I was to to pick an expansion that they could base a movie off of, I would have easily been Wrath of the Lich King. That would have been such an awesome movie to see. I mean, hell, it was an awesome expansion to play. It was my favorite expansion. Hands down. Best raids, best content, you know. It's awesome. Anyways. Also picked up the new Ratchet and Clank game, and I've actually been actively avoiding playing it because apparently it has clips from the movie in it. And uh, let me find out when the movie comes out because I really want to see the movie before I play the game, um, just so that I don't spoil like parts of the movie, you know, for myself when I play the game. I've heard that there's an update you can disable the movie clips on it. I'm gonna have to look into it, but. Um, I think the movie's already out. I'm not quite sure. I think they released the game and the movie pretty much simultaneously. Uh, yeah, April 29th. So, and four more days. Cool. Um, three more days. God, my, my kindergarten level level math sucks. <laughs> three more days. That's gonna come out. It's gonna be pretty pretty awesome. I mean, I'm one of those people. I like those kind of movies. People look at that movie and they, I, I don't expect it to do well. I really don't. Um, I know it's sad to think that way, but I mean, if it's not directed by Pixar or, you know, one of those big animation houses, generally it doesn't get much press, doesn't do well, or it's not well received because of this precon preconception that because it's not done by one of those people that it's not going to be good. 
I watch some of the animations. I think it's beautiful, and I'm gonna enjoy it. You know, regardless of uh, what all the critics say, I really could give a rip. You know, as far as what they say. But um, yeah, that's that's uh, what's gonna go down. I don't know how I'm gonna go see it though. I mean, I don't want to be talking smack again. I'm trying to avoid stuff like that, but. Right now, our one caregiver that is trained like we are, like me and Carrie, isn't doing so hot as far as like the, the interactions with the baby. So it's kind of, we don't want to leave her with her with two, for two hours while we go watch a movie. But I don't want to watch this by myself, you know, that kind of thing. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. And then of course, I'm, I'm gonna go see the World of Warcraft movie. That's, that's a given. <laughs> that's just, that, I've waited 10 years for that movie. Not really. I didn't even know there was a movie until like four years ago, but still, I waited a long time for it. You guys as excited for any movies? Any new games coming out that you guys are like, oh, can't wait to play it? If so, comment section, my friends. Or if you're viewing this on my Facebook, leave a comment there too as well. Again, thank you for watching. Have a good one.